Hi, my name is Dr. Harold Burton. I'm the director of the Undergraduate Exercise Science Program. The overall goal of the program is to give uh, the students a sound basis in the basic sciences, anatomy, physiology, nutrition, and biomechanics. And once they get that sound basis, then that prepares them for careers in the areas of fitness, health and wellness, rehabilitation, um, and also prepares the students for other professional programs in the health sciences such as physical therapy, medicine, chiropractic, and physician assistant. My name is Andrew Griffith. My name is Maria Brady. My name is Dennis. My name is Sarah and I'm from Rochester. Um, I decided to come to UB for a lot of the same reasons that Kelman just touched on. It has um, a great program in exercise science as well as physical therapy. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, I know a lot of people that are in the program or went through the program and really enjoyed it. Um, and I wanted to come here and find out what it was all about. Um, the way I think about it, if you think about how many um, med schools they have across the, the country, you know, compared to how many colleges and universities, there are not that many. So think about undergrad, how many undergrad programs that you have that will have a human growth static course. It's very few, very like five of them work and learn about the human body. They actually work in human They actually work in cadavers. Um, gross anatomy, like it's nice because like not only are you learning from the textbook, but you actually get to look at what the muscles really look like, where they originate, where they insert. So you kind of get the idea of how they really move instead of just staring at the book and looking at pictures and trying to picture it in your head. Yeah, because the book I know. is never like the real thing. <laughs> the book is just like a picture. Yeah. Well, you had the library and um, the health science library, which is really close, and people are always willing to work in groups and go over diagrams and lecture notes and stuff. The teachers are more like there is guidance and we depend on each other to teach each other things with our presentations and the dissections and everyone's always willing to go over to another table and you know I know this so I'll show it to you but later on you might not know something and you guys would help me out in that situation and that it really is easier to go up to a classmate instead of a teacher because there's a little bit of intimidation but there's none with the students and everyone's really wants to help each other do better.